how to install android r or android 11 developer preview 2 port from the pixel 4 xl on the xiaomi poco f1 hey peeps what's up manji here back with another video and guess what we have an almost fully working android 11 developer preview 2 port from the pixel 4 xl running on the xiaomi poco f1 and that is what we're going to install in this video what are the prerequisites for this video well you need to have an unlocked bootloader and you need to have to have recovery installed how do you do that i have separate videos for both of those which are linked in the description of the video next thing make sure your battery is charged at least 50 to 60 percent do not do this process if your battery is at 20 or 30 percent also make sure you have a backup of all your pictures videos and anything important which you have on your device because if you run into any encryption issues or any boot loop then you'll have to do a format your data from to up recovery in which case you're going to lose all your pictures videos and anything important which you have on your device another thing i personally recommend is that you should be decrypted how do you find that out well you can go into settings password and security and privacy as you can see my phone is not encrypted which means it is decrypted how do you do this i have a separate video for that as well which can be again found in the description of this video next thing we need to do is we'll go into settings and as you can see i am running miui 11.0.6.0 based on android 10 on my poco f1 so we'll scroll down and go into password and security and remove password fingerprint unlock and face unlock once that is done we'll go back we'll go into me account and remove your me account once that is done we'll go back go into accounts and sync and remove your google account as well once you have removed all the accounts and security measures make sure you reboot your device once why are we removing all the accounts and security measures well we're doing this because we're going from me ui to a custom rom and in this case an android 11 port so i don't want you to be locked out of your own device next up what are the files which we need all the files which we need are linked in the description of the video and these are the files which you need so you need android 11 pixel 4 xl dp2 port vendor zip file then you need the system zip file and because my device is decrypted i will flash disable force encryption as well and last but not the least if you want to root then you have to use a special version of super user for android 11 do note that at the time of recording this video magisk is not capable of rooting android 11 so you do not have the capability of using magisk modules with this root next thing we'll boot into to up recovery for that the first thing we need to do is turn our device off and once the device has turned off we'll press and hold volume up and power button at the same time till we see the to up recovery boot logo now once we have booted into to up recovery we'll go into wipe advanced swipe and select dalvik cache system vendor and data and then swipe to wipe if you do not get the option of wiping the vendor partition then you're not using the correct version of co-op recovery i have linked the version of co-op recovery which i am using in the description of this video once all the wipes have completed successfully we'll click on the home button next we'll go into install and now you need to navigate to the folder where you have downloaded all the files in case the files were downloaded from your phone directly they will be in the download folder in my case i've transferred them manually so they are in the root of sd card the first file which we need to select is the vendor zip file for the pixel 4 xl android 11 dp2 port select the file click on add more zips the next file which we need to select is the system zip file for android 11 dp2 port from the pixel 4 xl once we have selected both these files we'll swipe to confirm flash now once both the files are flashed successfully make sure you get the script succeeded message which ensures that there were no issues in flashing the vendor file and the same applies for the system file as well next thing we'll click on the home button and now we need to flash disable force encryption so first we'll go into mount make sure vendor is checked if it is not check it go back to the home screen go into install and then we'll select the disable force encryption zip file and then type to confirm flash once that is done we'll click on the home button go into reboot and select system however if you run into any boot loops or any encryption issues you'll have to boot back into to up recovery by pressing and holding volume up and power button at the same time till you see the to up recovery boot logo then you'll go into wipe format data type in yes and click on the check mark button on the bottom right of the keyboard for now we're going to skip that step going to reboot and select system 
if you get a message that no os is installed are you sure you want to reboot swipe to reboot and there it is as you can see we have the google boot animation on our poco f1 which means we are booting into android 11 developer preview 2 port from the pixel 4 xl first boot up might take some time so you have to be patient well it looks like our device is stuck on the boot animation so what we're going to try next is a force reboot now what is a force reboot well while you're stuck at the boot animation you just press and hold the power button to forcefully reboot the device and as you could just see the device rebooted and hopefully this time around we can boot into android 11 developer preview 2 from the pixel 4 xl without having to do a format data and there it is as you just saw a force reboot fixed it it is telling us that there's an internal problem with our device we'll just click on ok android developer preview click on ok and bam we are on the setup screen an important thing to note here is that you should not restore data from google cloud during the initial setup it will result in issues so let me skip the initial setup real quick and bam there it is we are on the home screen we'll now go into settings about phone does mention the device as pixel 4 xl and the android version is r so there it is android r or android 11 developer preview 2 because the security patch is from march of 5th 2020 ported from the pixel 4 xl running like a boss on the poco f1 the animations are pretty smooth i see no lags and another thing i would like to mention is that do not expect to get the 90 hertz display from the pixel 4 xl with this port nor will you get face unlock now in case you want to root your device well for that all you need to do is we'll boot back into to up recovery so turn your device off press and hold volume up and power button at the same time till you see the to up recovery boot logo and once we boot it into to up recovery we'll go into install and all you need to do is flash the android 11 root file by j select this file and then swipe to confirm flash script was successful reboot system and once we boot back into android 11 developer preview 2 from the pixel 4 xl we can check for the root application which should be super user as i mentioned earlier it's not going to be magisk and you will not be able to use magisk modules for now because magisk does not support android 11 right now you will of course get this message every time about the internal error all you have to do is click on ok it's not going to affect the functionality in any way here it is the super user application this is going to handle all the applications which require root access we can also go into settings and security there it is encryption and credentials phone is not encrypted which means disable force encryption was successful so there it is peeps that is how you install the android 11 developer preview 2 port from the pixel 4 xl on the poco f1 and the notch is aligned perfectly of course i will work on a first look video for this port so be on the lookout for that and that will do it for this video hope my video helped you likes share and subscribes are appreciated feedback and comment more than welcome see you when i see you